Yeah, I missed a good one, fellas. A prime quality girl. We'll take it back to Valentine's Day, 1991. I'm a junior in high school in history class. And there's this girl. Uh, she was a uh, the fir- one of my first experiences as a, a young adult, as an adolescent teen, with a black girl named Heather. Girl moved down from New York. I forget which borough, but her family had some money. And she was, she was a cute girl. But here's the thing. This is when I started... This is when I first should have noticed what All for the Broads versus Nondescript was. She had this boyfriend named Flex. Flex, right. We talk in the early 90s. The cat would be at these parties, house parties, with hammer pants on, dancing. And, you know, I'm I'm too nondescript to be doing some shit like that. So I should have known right there that you not what these women really traditionally go for. Because you're too nondescript. But anyway, I come into history class, first period. Stink, you going to be my valentine? Yeah, I'm all giddy and happy. Find out her and Flex were on the outs, but it was one of it's that case where she's sweating him and he just pushes her to the side and she gets mad and looks for attention from somebody else. And that sucker would happen to be me. So I agree to be her Valentine, ask my mother to bring home from work a balloon or just Valentine's Day shit, balloon, um, stuffed animal, candy, that kind of stuff. So she gets it. And, you know, gives it to me around six, seven o'clock at night that evening. I call the girl about coming over to give her the stuff. And she makes up a lie and says her brother told her that she couldn't have company. When really the truth was that nigga Darnell, uh, that nigga Flex was there. And he was there. Um, and I remember when I told my mom about it, she had a look on her face like, oh, boy, you just been played. And at one point I was still talking to the girl on the phone and my mom comes in the room and she's like, is that her? And I was like, yeah. So my mom takes the phone for me and says, don't call here looking for Jimmy no more. And just hung up the phone. But she didn't give me, she didn't tell me why she did it. But I just took it to mean that I don't need to be talking to her anymore. But the truth of the matter is, when I say I missed that on a good one, that girl ended up monkey branching to the dude's older brother. And they became an item for like five or six years. I really miss one, man. Damn.